Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by ComputerLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Got a fun one today, folks. You know I like to keep abreast of what's going on in the realm of AI. I am especially interested in how I can integrate AI into my Microsoft Access databases, but I also really love image generation too. And there's a lot of cool tools out there. I just came across one today though. It's from Google Labs, it's called Whisk, and it's really neat, it lets you generate images, but more importantly, you can merge multiple images together to create something totally new. Let me give you a couple demonstrations. All right, you can find Whisk at labs.google slash fx slash tool slash Whisk. I'll put a link down below. I expect this will change. It's still listed as experimental, which means it's still in the lab, so they haven't released it as a full-fledged product yet, but it's super cool. Now, it's all set up for Valentine's Day since Valentine's Day is tomorrow, but... I'm gonna come down here and click on start from scratch and it loads up this page. This is what I like, this is the one I, that's a lot of fun. So what you can do is you can start with a subject like the person that you want in the picture, right? A scene where they are and then a style. All right, so I've got some pictures I put together here, right? I got a picture of me, that's me on my boat and here's a cityscape and I got a watercolor painting here. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna simply drag these in here, right? Oh, not the scene, hang on. I want, oh yeah, that was right. This is the subject right there. Click and drag and drop it. It analyzes it. All right, for the scene, I'll put that cityscape in there. Okay, and then for the style, I want watercolor painting. Okay, and then generate your combined images. You could type in additional details down here, like the character is eating an ice cream cone, whatever. And then hit this, it takes a second, does its thing. And there we go. And yes, I did pause the recordings. It, it took about 30 to 45 seconds. But look, it's watercolor painting. Kind of looks like me, a little bit. It's not supposed to be exact. It's not like some of the other ones that I that are actually like avatar generators where it does as best it can to keep your face. This is just for like a rough image. But there's the cityscape in the background and that looks like a watercolor, right? And there's it, here is the entire prompt that it put together for you. You can edit this if you want to, right? Pretty neat. Let's do another one. All right, for this one, we're gonna change it up a little bit. I got a picture of me again. For the scene, I'm gonna put in there a classic Star Trek image right there on the bridge of the Enterprise looking at a Klingon bird of prey. Okay, and then for the style, I'm just gonna leave it blank and see what it does by combining these two images together. You don't have to put a style in there. Okay, not exactly what I was looking for. So I'll put some additional details down here, right? Character is sitting at the helm like that. And then we'll see if it changes it. So it, I'm actually sitting at the helm this time instead of just looking at the camera. Okay, better. But how about sitting at the helm, looking back at the camera? Let's try that. So you can keep adjusting and tweaking these. Okay, well this one's got two, two people, but that's not bad. Right, and you, I mean, you can keep playing with this and adjusting this. Another thing you could do is you could not use pictures at all and just go straight from text. All right, let's start over again. Subject, all right, enter text. Human male, middle-aged, long blonde hair, beard. Okay, generate that. That takes a second. I like it. Okay, scene. We're gonna go with open plains. Uh, men riding horseback. Castle in the distance. And generate. Okay, looks pretty good. And then style. We're gonna go fantasy, RPG, like D&D. And my favorite artist is Larry Elmore. Style, just like that. And then we'll generate that. And that looks pretty good. Let me see. I can't blow this up, can you? Can we can't blow this up over here? No. Well, it looks pretty good from what I can see. Let's see. What is this? No, that's the prompt. You can, oh, you can download it here. I'm still experimenting with a lot of this myself. All right, but let's combine all these three, three things. Actually, let's put a, a thing in here. How about the character is a wizard holding a magic staff? Let's try that. And go. And that's pretty good. He's got two staves there. Staves. 
I like this one, though. That's a really good one. Yeah. Beautiful. Excellent. So there you go. That's it. Nice quick one today. Um, I just, whenever I come across a tool that really blows my socks off, I like to share it with you guys. If you have any really cool AI tools, let me know about them. I love experimenting with this kind of stuff. And um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's getting more and more fun as time goes on with this AI image generation. But uh, yeah, that's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Have some fun. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon so you get notified anytime I release a new video. And make sure you like and share this video with your friends. And make sure you stop by my website for lots of free lessons on all kinds of different topics, Microsoft Access, Excel, Word, Windows, and lots more. It's computerlearningzone.com. And I've also got a shorter URL. It's 599cd.com. That's a long story, but stop by anyways. We hope to see you soon.